Here's the dealio. Here's one story. You know the story. And that is that uh, Tom Brady uh, is done gracing us with his presence on a football field. I know uh, some of you are probably tired of hearing about it and talking about it. But for a lot of other people, they are not. And that's the way this thing goes when you are talking about one of the greatest athletes in North American history. We would treat it the same way if it was Michael Jordan. We would treat it the same way. Pick your poison uh, of among the great players that ever graced us with their athletic ability. Was he the greatest athlete? Nope. Was he the fastest? Nope. Did he have the strongest arm? Nope. Was he the greatest? Yup. Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today, kid? One and three. One and, one and three. When he faced Here New go. York football teams uh, in the postseason, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was 0-2 against the Giants, and he was 1-1 one one against the Jets. Yes. 1-3. and three. So, yes. if you want to spend four hours yes. celebrating Tom Brady, kissing Tom Brady's ass, talking, oh, did you see this stat? Did you know this stat? This guy, yeah. this, this guy's that. Be my guest. But here are the facts. Yeah. Because the facts are cold and they're hard sometimes. One and three. I'm doing well, though, Craig. How are you? I'm doing uh, sad, actually, today because oh. my favorite guy uh, in the NFL and on the planet, my lunch buddy, uh, is now uh, no longer playing football. And the fact that we were uh, blessed and graced with the opportunity to see a guy that had won seven Super Bowls, uh, went to ten and uh, uh, really entertained us yeah. for uh, the last two decades. Not having him in the NFL, for me as a fan, is a sad, sad day. And you can spin it as you'd like to and as you have uh, from a New York standpoint and say the Giants beat him twice. They did. They did. In the Super Bowl, yeah. he owned us. He has our soul in his back pocket. <laughs> he embarrassed us. He made us look like minor leaguers. And while I'm glad he's gone from that standpoint, I'm sad that he's gone because there'll never be a guy like him ever again. I acknowledge that he was 30 and 7 against the Jets. I acknowledge yeah. that. Oh, you do, do you? I yeah. acknowledge that he was 6 and 1 against the Giants in the regular season. I just also acknowledge that he was 1 and 3. Look, Tom Brady's great. Tom Brady's the greatest quarterback of all time. Yeah? Do I have to repeat that over and over again? I don't think you do. Or can I say that and also say, yes. I'm glad he's gone. Why? I'm done with him. I'm done with the story. And why are I'm you done clapping? watching him. I'm done with people? the hissy fits. I'm done with the drama. I'm done. And you know what's crazy? Maybe yeah. as a broadcaster, yeah. I like him. Maybe I'll say, you know what? Tom's really good at Maybe that. Maybe you will. I'm open to that. Sure you are. I really am. But as a football player, he was a rival, and he was an ass kicker, and he was one of the greats of all time. Yes. I'm admitting it. I'm saying it. Yeah. But I'm also thrilled to never have to look at his face again with a helmet on. Goodbye. Oh, that's so sad to me. And uh, that's the problem in the world. Rather than appreciate a man's greatness, we have to make it about us. And shame on you for doing that <laughs> because we were blessed to live in an era when we got to watch the greatest of all time play. And while, yes, he dominated our team 30-7, and seven, as you say, and won seven Super Bowls on our souls, we got to watch him play, and I'm grateful for that. I don't see it the way you and other people do. Like, Jordan is a great example. Obviously, I'm not a Nick fan, and while my team played Jordan once in the playoffs, throw it away, bro. I get it, right? I could never understand yeah. celebrating somebody that tortured me. I can explain Chipper it. Jones is a great player. I admit that, Craig. Yes. I don't want to celebrate him torturing me. Yeah. So I never understood you and others who celebrate Michael Jordan. Dude, he kicked your ass Owned over us. and over and over again. Yeah, I agree. And Michael, for the most part, Tom Brady kicked our ass. 100% right. So I don't want to celebrate him. I'll admit he's great. Because here's what it is. And maybe it's maturity. I don't know. We can acknowledge that on one hand, these guys dominated us, stood in the way of us ever winning our championships, that kind of stuff. Uh, Jordan clearly did that. Tom Brady did that, et cetera. But at some point, if we truly love sports, and I know you do and I do, you at some point do have to acknowledge greatness. I'm acknowledging it. And uh, that means put aside for a moment the fact that maybe you didn't win as many games as you could have because this guy existed whether it be Jordan or Gretzky or, in this case, Tom Brady, and appreciate that while stopping us from getting to the ultimate goal, which are our championships, 
God, are we lucky to have watched them play. I appreciate that I no longer I have to watch I wouldn't like basketball play. as much without Michael Jordan. Oh, God. I wouldn't like football as much without Tom Brady. And while well, you and I can obviously be diametrically opposed on this, that's how the world goes. We don't have to agree on everything. I will spend the next four and a half hours lauding the great career of Tom Brady. I appreciate that he's leaving. Yeah. I appreciate that I no longer have to subject myself to watching him anymore. Yes. Or the fawning over what team is he going to play for now? Well, I mean, I, I can't, did not give you the insight that I clearly had yesterday. What insight did you have? He just retired. What insight did I have? You said he was going to the Dolphins. Then you yeah. said he was going uh, to the Niners. Hang on a sec. Yeah. What happened yesterday on this show where clearly I wasn't allowed to say certain things? Who did I say was going to the Jets yesterday, Big Mac? Uh, Carr, I believe. Derek Carr. Yeah. Derek Carr. Yeah. Because I knew Tom Brady wasn't. You said Tom Brady was going to the Niners. Also because I thought he was going there. That's correct. (laughs) (laughs) That's correct. That's correct. Tom Uh, Brady did kind of fool us because when he left in his press conference after the Tampa Bay game, that embarrassment, remember when he threw the interception in the red zone to curse? That was kind of cool. Anyhow. In his post-game press conference, he did make it seem to you and I and everyone else, he's coming back. Like, I almost think there was this assumption of he's just going to play elsewhere, whether it's Vegas, whether it's Miami, San Francisco. Yeah. You brought up the Jets. Like, there was a feeling that he was going to play. And instead, you know, on the same date as last year, with the same shtick of let me try to take attention away from the Super Bowl because I'm an egotistical guy. Let me take attention away from Mike and the Mad Dogs reunion. Let me take attention away from I Darren mean, O'Day. How many reunions can two people have before it's not a reunion anymore? Let him take attention away from the guy with the lowest ERA in Mets history retiring. Let me take attention away from everybody. Yeah. Tom Brady decides to stick his nose out today and say, I'm retiring. Well, listen, nobody was going to be talking about the Super Bowl specifically today. Next week, I'm with you on that, which is probably why. Why he announced it today. Get it out of the way. Wednesday morning. And now you have a full week and a half to concentrate on your know, Kansas City and Philadelphia. Uh, I got no problem with it. Uh, and again, as a sports fan, today's a sad day. Today's not a happy day. I'm sad today. I lost out one of the great football players to ever play. <laughs> It's a sad day. It's, Me yes. and Big Mac were high fiving yeah. each other before the show. I, I don't why, feel sad way, at all. You beat him at both Super Bowls. <laughs> what does that why, have to do why, with anything? Why would you celebrate because him I'm not th- being here? Because I'm done with him. Oh, you're I'm done, done with, with him. him. And he's nonsense. not even that good anymore. Yeah, he's not, he's not even good anymore. He's not. He's yeah. not good anymore. Yeah, that's right. He's they not don't good need anymore. him anymore. Yeah, you there was, a, there was yeah. a time like, oh, watching the greatness. We don't need him. He left an indelible mark on the NFL. You know what? We have Mahomes. We have Burrow. He's right. We don't need Tom Brady anymore. I don't need him to be in 10 consecutive AFC championships. Why not? Because I, I'm done with it. I'm tired of it. Let's move on to the next generation. Who needs wow. this old guy right. hanging around? What a lack, I'm tired of it. Lack of appreciation for one of the great athletes and, in our country's can I tell you, history. Can, can I give you a second? Shame on you, Can sir. I give you a second on the difference between him and Michael Jordan as well? Right, you because can do whatever you want. Michael, He's got more titles than Jordan, but go ahead. I understand that, but yeah. football is such a team sport. Michael Jordan was an incredible athlete who did incredible things. Yeah. You say Michael Jordan, a million plays come to mind. Yeah. With Tom Brady, it's just winning. Eli Manning was in two Super Isn't Bowls. Isn't that what it's all about? It is. But I'm just saying as far as like the, oh, we're missing out on this great player. Yeah. Eli Manning was in two Super Bowls. He's got more memorable plays, individual plays, than Tom Brady does in ten Super Bowls. Only because it's you're a just, giant fan. No. If you're no. a Patriot. Tyree and the Manningham throw are better yeah, than the, anything right. Tom First Brady off, ever did individually. As you he said, won, though. the Tyree play. That's yeah. the Tyree play, not well, the Eli play. I said he's Eli involved right. escaped, though. Yeah. He yeah. escaped. He escaped, but Tyree made the catch. You want to talk about Brady Manningham, I'll give you Manningham. Mahomes has already done more yeah. things, sidearm throws, oh, more fun to watch. Your Tom Brady was on a great team and won. No doubt about it. He's the greatest winner of all time. Tom Brady never but I'm had not the best missing out watching Tom him. Brady. I'm not missing out watching Tom Brady anymore. I'm not missing out the stupid Patriots in every single championship game. Yeah. I don't miss it. Well, I, I, feel he ba- also, I feel bad for both he of you. He also, you yeah. said this about Eli, we should say it about Tom. Good. Tom Brady, great winner, fantastic Hall of Famer, luckiest quarterback in the history of football. Uh, you, I mean, how? <laughs> How many play? How many Super Bowls did he win yeah. because of luck? Yeah, luck, sure. Well, I mean, because of luck, right. bro. Yeah. Yeah. The Ram game, the Seahawks yeah. game, yeah. hand the ball to Lynch, bro. The, the Falcons. The Falcons collapsed. He should have lost three consecutive Super Bowls. If I may, so the guy comes back from twenty-eight to three, 
And rather than give him credit for orchestrating the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history, you were going to blame Atlanta instead of giving him credit. Uh, do we give you guys yeah. are negative people? Yeah. No, do we give it? When we talk about the Mets Phillies in 07, do we talk yeah. about a resurgent Philly team? No. The Mets collapsed. They choked. Yeah. When we talk about that Super Bowl, Atlanta yeah. collapsed. When we talk about Yankees, Red Sox in 04, my apologies, the Yankees collapsed. The Falcons collapsed. You guys are something Tom special. Tom Brady and the Seahawks game is yeah. a great example, bro. Yeah. How lucky were was he? You guys are unbelievable. The Carolina today. Super Bowl? You got a kicker kicking the ball out of bounds. Yeah. What the hell? Fascinating. Lucky. Should have lost to Jake DeLome. Should have. But guess what? Should have. But guess what? Didn't. Lucky. Didn't. Lucky. Well, you guys, I mean, you guys are so jaded and like hateful it and blackhearted. I know that. It gonna, fascinates Craig, me. Craig, you're going to join the masses, and I respect Join yeah. the masses. I'm Every, leading the bus. You're going to lead the... Okay. You will yeah. lead the masses. I'll rephrase it. Thank you. In waxing poetic about yeah. Tom. Greatest he's guy I ever this, saw. He's amazing. I got emotional today. You can lead that bus. Thank you. Big Mac and I will call BS on your bus. How can you and, call BS? Because he's the luckiest quarterback the in the history went of football. To 10 Super Bowls. That's great. That's not luck. Yeah. That's called skill. Oh, he's great. You can't you can't great. just wake up and win seven Super Bowls Dude, you have and go to, to admit, ten because you're lucky. You have to you admit, you two knuckleheads. You have to admit. As this, someone, uh, I can't believe what I'm hearing today. As someone, I may go home. As someone who has called out Eli for being lucky, yeah, and you would I, specifically say, I didn't hey, say lucky. I said he was average in the regular season. Okay, that's fine. In the Super Bowl, how many yeah. times did Tommy get a little lucky? Just a little bit. Just a little bit lucky. I don't remember any of them. Oh, really? Yeah. So Marshawn Lynch not yeah. getting the football. That's not luck. That's not luck? How is that luck? What did Tom have to do with the I worst mean, play call in the history of football? They, they call the play. Butler made an interception. How's that lucky? He also threw an interception yeah. to Jeremy Lane early in that it's game. So We're going to forget that one? His I mean, how's it lucky? His playoff career started on luck with the tuck rule. He also had one of the <laughs> great He also had one of the great clutch kickers in the history of the NFL. It's yeah, true. so he's not and a one of, And the greatest head coach in the history so of the NFL. So let me ask you a question. Uh, you know, uh, Phil Sims and Jeff Hosteller got lucky because no one missed the field goal? Or yeah. did they win that game on skill? No, I mean, Did both? they get lucky? Be, yes, uh, they got lucky. Excuse me? Yeah, both, but they you got lucky. But you don't remember it as them only winning because of luck. You no, remember, you're right. No one remembers yeah. that kick. When, when Mark Bavaro had the ball go off his hands and McConkie caught in the back of the end zone against yeah. Denver, did you say, well, the Giants got lucky in beating Denver? The difference or did they beat the Broncos correct, on the skill? The difference is Tom yeah. got lucky over and over I don't have any, Hold on a second. You're not a Giant again. fan. I didn't hear the Giant fan talk about that. I was saying, I'm waiting. Uh, I was What's saying that? Uh, dad, dad, mama. I yeah, don't remember. Exactly. You don't, don't know remember. You don't remember nothing. Yeah. Because it doesn't fit this stupid narrative. That's reality. You two nincompoops Dude, when a kick it goes out of bounds in a big spot against the immortal Jake the Alone. Yeah, and Adam Vinatieri's all lined up for the forty-yard field goal. Yeah, what do you think of that? Like, what I, do you think of that? When Tom Brady starts that game-winning drive in the Super Bowl at his yeah. own forty yeah. instead of his own twenty, yeah. because John Casey's a dope yeah. who kicks the ball out of bounds. Yep. What do you call that? I mean, Mahomes is lucky to be in the Super Bowl. Look, too, there's right? some luck involved. Uh, so now, for him, it's some luck. In this case, hold on, some luck. Chris Jones being some all luck. sides, yeah. luck. Yeah. What the some hell luck. did Tom have to do with that? Some luck, a little bit. So it's funny. So Patty Mahomes gets to the Super Bowl off a dumb punt and a being hit out of bounds and lining up their kicker. That's some luck. Tom Brady, it's all luck. You, listen, no one's dude, saying it's all luck, but you, no one's calling listen, Patrick Mahomes the greatest. Yeah, so, he's the next in line, well, is we'll he not? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, by the way, you guys, I appreciate the fact that you can't get over your own black-hearted goggles. <laughs> all right? that will no, Don't allow you to see Tom Brady in an objective, honest manner. I appreciate that, but I'm your Huckleberry today, and I know Jet fans hate him, rightfully so. I hated him, too, but the day he left New England, I fell in love. I fell in love, and I am still in love, and I am sad today that we've lost the great Tom Brady. I'm glad he's alive, obviously, but we lost him as a player. Now what are we going to do? Watch Joe Burrow, watch Patrick yeah. Mahomes, watch Joe Josh Burrow Allen, can't hold watch his Aaron jock. Rodgers. Yeah. Just watch. Aaron watch Rodgers. the other great young quarterbacks uh -huh. in this sport. Not Aaron Rodgers, yeah. obviously. Yeah. But look at the generation of quarterbacks yeah. we have. Aaron Rodgers. How many Super Bowls does Aaron Rodgers have? One. One. What does that I mean? I guess he just didn't get lucky. <laughs> well, Yeah, I guess he did. Jimmy Garoppolo went into his building. How many times did <laughs> beat him? I guess it's just because he didn't have as much luck. As, you as can't Tom deny, Brady. Craig. You can't yeah. deny that these examples yeah. we're giving. Yes, like the one I'm bringing up about Carolina. Granted, it was 20 years ago. That was very lucky. 20 years ago. The, okay, the Seattle game. Yeah, there was luck involved. Heck, in why those. don't we talk about the first one against the Rams? He's really lucky they didn't take a knee. I mean, that was lucky. Yeah. <laughs>
Stop there was a lot of luck yeah. in that game. Yeah, too. He's, he's three passes. He's lucky he had the in, first down. He's lucky the defense had the entire game plan a week oh. before the game was played. Oh, there we I go. I mean, this, uh, you know, uh, just saying, there's some luck there. <laughs> wow, the hatred and dislike for Tom Brady. Is that an all-time high? And it's on the day he retires. Too bad. It's unbelievable. No, it's, it's the second day he's retired. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I, and I look his... forward to the third. Uh, there's not going to be a third. Yeah. It's a wrap. Like, don't you feel like he's a dope? Done. He did this last year. Yeah. Forty days later, he says he changes his mind, was and now we got. Is that how we got to do the same dance again? We no, got to we'll honor this guy again. I mean, like we got to play the same stupid game we played yeah. a year ago. Goodbye. I think. See you later, Tommy. To, to be fair, I think uh, he made it very clear that he recognized that he's done this in the past. That's why I didn't write another essay <laughs> to uh, the fans or the football. And uh, now he's gone for good. Seems like he'll be uh, on a broadcast next year. Uh, but now, for now, for now, for now. Uh, and forever, he will never play another down of football. Why doesn't, and he just, sad. why doesn't he just get Greg Olson thrown out of the booth now like he got Jimmy Garoppolo thrown out of New England? Like, yeah. Why doesn't he just do the same I thing? I don't know. He won four Super Bowls after that happened. Was that a bad move <laughs> or a good move? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Why yeah. doesn't he put – and I'm sure he'll yeah. win a bunch of Emmys. Why not just call By up Greg way, Olson and say, yeah. listen, pal, you're nothing. I'm Tom Brady. Get the hell out of the booth. I'll sit next to KB. I'll take over the Super Bowl from here. I'll do you one better. From 37 to 45 – he won four Super Bowls. That's yeah, amazing. Went to five, won four. From 37 to 45, but hold on, all luck. Oh, there was a lot nothing of luck to do with him. A lot of luck, He man. had nothing to do with that. That Ram Super Bowl? Holy yeah. crap, how ugly was that? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The Falcons Super Bowl, biggest I, collapse ever. The Seahawks Super yeah. Bowl, dumbest play call ever. Yeah. I mean, bro, I'm not making this stuff up. Yeah. This stuff all happened. I expected no cap. I expected some <laughs> kickback today, but this is uh, this is uh, criminal. This is beyond the Look, scope th- of anything rational. We're all recognizing yeah. he's the greatest. No, I'm you're just not. tired of you him. You just said he's the luckiest. You I, just well, said he's, he's the greatest. He's, he's, that's both. If you're always that in your lifetime, you will never see another quarterback playing ten Super Bowls. I, How do you know that? Because it ain't gonna happen. Patrick yeah, I, Mahomes is already a three. Yeah, it's, yeah, three. It's still unlikely. I agree. Seven with you. more. I agree, Big Mac. It's unlikely. <laughs> yeah. I agree with you. I agree. It's unlikely. Okay. But we never thought a lot of things. Like we never thought someone would break Kareem's scoring record. Fair There's enough. a lot of things we never thought we'd see. Yeah. And the way the NFL protects quarterbacks. Yeah. When 49-year-old Patrick Mahomes can't be looked at without there being a penalty, maybe he will go to a Super Bowl. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something else I never thought I'd see. I never thought I'd see a, a play call for uh, Julius Randle <laughs> when Jalen Brunson's on the court in the final three seconds. Especially considering, but that's another story for another day, Especially I considering Julius Randle, yeah. I could argue, is the most unclutch player in the NBA. By the way, just out of curiosity, for as lucky as you guys claim Brady is, mm-hmm. uh, how many more touchdown passes does he have than the guy in second place? He played a million years. I'm just asking he's the a question. Com- he just compiled, bro. Oh, he's a compiler. He just he's kept compiling. So he had 78 more touchdown passes than the guy in second place, but it's all luck. Yeah. yeah. That part isn't luck. Ah, it's just he he had it on. He played, he played until he was a senior yeah. citizen, bro. Yeah. And uh, how many years of his career did he have Hall of Fame wide receivers playing with him? I mean, Randy Moss was pretty good. For a year. Yeah. Rob Gronkowski is considered one of the great tight ends I'll, of all time. I didn't say tight ends. I said wide receivers. But I'll give you Gronk. Obviously, Gronk's a Hall of Fame. great slot receivers over the years. Julian Edelman. Wes Welker. Oh, yeah, no, Wes these guys Welker. weren't good. He's they the old, sucked. They were all terrible. He made them great. How about oh. the defense? The defense was terrible, right? Teddy Bruschi's a piece of crap. Richard Seymour, he stinks. Handful They're of guys. They're all awful. Bill Belichick's yeah. game plan against the greatest show on turf? Yeah. Oh, overrated. Yeah, Belichick's done a lot since uh, Brady retired. Let me count his playoff wins. I'm talking about 2001. How many is it? How many playoff wins? No. Zero. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Belichick's a genius. Yeah, when you got Tom Brady, of course you're a genius. Yeah. <laughs> he never play, played with a Hall of Famer on offense at wide receiver in two seasons. Edelman may get in. I'll give you that based on his. Uh, Did he ever have good offensive yardage. lines? I forget. Like, was Average. he protected? How Average. many offensive linemen are going to the Hall of Fame? Doesn't None. matter. That's not how not you one. calculate the talent around how you. How many Pro Bowls did his offensive how linemen go to? How many times could Dom, Tom Brady bake, uh, bake like a dinner yeah. behind that <laughs> offensive yeah. line? He would really bake the last that... before the game and it would get cooked <laughs> while they were playing. I mean, he would sit oh, there with his boy. little hop and I'd watch and scream, Can someone breathe on him? Thank you, though, to Justin Tuck. Thank you, though, to Michael Strahan. Yeah. Thank you to Jay Alford. Yeah, they Thank got lucky. you to some of the Giants who actually decided, let's put some pressure on I them. mean, I view that Super Bowl as the Giants got lucky. The ref should have blown the whistle. He was in the grasp. Twice. I'll give you the second one. Nice pass to Manny. I'm kind of lucky, though. 
Hmm. Couldn't make that pass Remember again. Remember that safety in the Super Bowl when, uh, yeah. Peyton, when <laughs> the great Tom Brady was called for an intentional grounding? What football yes. IQ he had. Uh, all right, listen, we got lots to do. Uh, it's going to be a fight, seems like, all day. All good. I'm up for the task. I'm sure they are, too. I'm, uh, by the way, Tommy, where are you on this? Oh, I'm with you, Craig. Nice. I am a full supporter of Tom Brady. There you go. And, and by the way, Evan, uh, remind me, two years ago in the playoffs when uh, Tom Brady beat your boy Aaron Rodgers in the playoffs, was that luck, too? Oh, and he beat Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, too. I guess he was lucky. Lo- it's not all oh, luck, but you can't what? deny You just come off scenarios. like a bitter Jet fan. I don't know what Big Mac's problem is. We've beaten Brady a ton of times. Good luck watching a backup quarterback in Tampa next year. The NFL product this Good year, luck. we love the NFL, right? Couldn't but it wasn't great Tampa. top to bottom. You want great quarterbacks. He's we not, want Tom yeah. Brady. He's not a great quarterback not, anymore, I, man. Oh, really? I watched him no. this year for the Bucs. Yeah. It wasn't very good. Oh, with Todd Bowles as his coach, yeah. and he was oh. going through a divorce. Right? <laughs> a lot of things oh, going on. Oh, yeah, That's tough. Bowles. And by the way, still led the league in completions of 46. Because he Thank threw you. the ball 5 million times. Because they have a run game. They had a game I mean, this you year. You guys make more excuses a, for a guy doing good things than I've ever heard in my life. They had a game this year. I think it was the game against. Uh, they got blown out. You're talking Tampa. Where they set a record for the fewest rushing attempts in an NFL game. I buy it. That's the guy you're talking about. I buy it. So you when know you why? look at some of the numbers, he yeah. threw a billion times this year. Yeah, I mean, there's always something. You guys can uh, try to talk your way into any position you want. Hey, it's all good by me. I'm just sad that we've lost one of the greats. Nah, he's not dead. <laughs> but I don't want to make this deal, you know, you know, morbid. Yeah. But uh, we will no longer get to see number twelve. And I'll tell you this: the NFL should retire the number. Oh God! Nobody should ever again wear number twelve. I'll do you one better: Stop. the Super Bowl MVP trophy, starting this year, should be renamed the Tom Brady Trophy. And five years from now, he will go in with JJ Watt. And that will be a badass class you know, of you know, Hall of Famers. You know what's actually crazy? Uh-huh. Between all the asinine stuff you're going to say today, me too, I'm sure. I'm actually not against, maybe 10 years from now, renaming the Super Bowl MVP trophy. Like the Jordan thing, right? Trophy, yeah. yeah. I'm down with I'm it. Okay He's got with five one. Super Bowl MVPs. <laughs> Uh, but that's all luck. You know, I know he, he didn't earn any of those. There was a lot of luck a involved. A lot of luck involved in those. That's right. Here's a quick quiz for you, Big Mac. In the two Super Bowl wins that he was not named Super Bowl MVP, Mm -hmm. top of your head, who did get those awards? Branch and... Damn, I'm trying to think of the other one. Tommy for the steal. Wes Welker? No, uh, Amendola, right? There was a receiver in the Rams <laughs> game that won it. Who was his receiver that won it against the Rams? Oh, That's yeah. I, think it was, I think it was you uh, named Edelman. Them. It was Edelman. It was uh, Edelman. Edelman, Edelman. Edelman. I got there. <laughs> Edelman. That was Edelman. I had the right position. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's correct. That's Edelman. Yeah. 